right. Here we go. Quinn took his hand. He waved to his driver and the car pulled away from the curb. Quinn held Fred's extended arm as they climbed up the steps to the front door together. She wished that she owned a pair of heels to wear at this moment. Her stomach was in knots. Meeting the parents was nerve-wracking even if their relationship was a sham. Quinn still wanted to make a good impression. She pushed away the thought that maybe a part of her wanted this to be true. For her and Fred to be a real couple. The door to the brownstone opened and Quinn forced her smile to stay in place. Inside, the home was just as beautiful as the outside, with cozy seating everywhere and tasteful art on the walls. A butler dressed in uniform led them to the living room. Quinn and Fred took a seat on an oversized couch. Fred reached over and took Quinn's hand into his. We got this, Fred whispered to her. Quinn nodded. She knew they were a good team. Fred's parents, Peter and Marcy Smith, entered the room together. They both paused at the sight of Quinn. Fred stood up from the sofa, pulling Quinn with him. They continued to hold hands, even though Quinn could feel sweat building up between their palms. We're both nervous, Quinn realized. Fred could run Rex Corp in his sleep and make international business transactions all day long. Quinn could stay calm in the most tense of medical emergencies but the sight of meeting parents had them both acting like nervous teenagers on their first date. Peter Smith held out his hand to Fred. Son, good to see you. We weren't expecting you to bring a guest. Dad, I'd like you to meet my new fiancé, Dr. Quinn Murphy. Peter's eyes widened for a moment, but three decades of experience as a successful businessman perfected his poker face. His face settled back into a neutral expression. Well, well, well. Welcome to our home, Quinn. Peter turned back to Fred. Fiancé? That's not what I was expecting tonight, son. I had thought that you and Beatrice had just had a misunderstanding. You don't want to rush into anything you might regret down the road. Fred's hand tightened Quinn's. She forced herself to keep smiling, but it felt like her face would crack in two. Marcy Smith took a step forward and held out her hand to Quinn. Ignore my husband. He hates it when his plans go awry. Dr. Murphy, was it? What kind of doctor are you? Marcy's kindness put everyone in the room at ease, especially Quinn. Quinn grasped the older woman's hand gratefully between her hands. Neurosurgeon at Roosevelt Memorial. Well... Would you look at that? You chose a smart girl for a change, Marcy poked fun at Fred. Hey, they weren't all duds. Fred defended himself, but Marcy rolled her eyes at him where only Quinn could see. A genuine smile filled Quinn's face. Marcy was warm and welcoming to her. Quinn felt more at ease. I can do this, Quinn thought to herself. Come on, let's sit down for dinner. Marcy motioned them towards the dining room. The dining room table was bigger than Quinn's apartment. She sat at one of the four place settings next to Fred, but it felt like she was sitting two tables away from him. Quinn scooted herself closer to Fred. She reached out and held Fred's hand on the table. Fred looked around the table. He dropped Quinn's hand and crossed his arms across his chest. Why are there four settings already? Fred turned to his dad. Were you guys expecting another dinner guest? I already told you that Jake had practice after school and couldn't make it. Marcy looked down into her drink. Peter cleared his throat and then took a long sip of water. No one made eye contact with Quinn. Well, son, we really weren't expecting you to bring a guest, so we invited one of our own. Quinn looked to Fred, but he seemed as lost as she was. Neither Peter nor Marcy spoke. Quinn couldn't stand the prolonged silence at the table. Who is the guest? Quinn asked. The sound of high heels clicked along the tile floor. Everyone in the room turned toward the sound. Beatrice entered the dining room in a swirl of designer coats. 
Quinn felt like she might pass out or throw up again. That would be me. Hello, Fred, darling. Hi, Quinn here. And if you're wondering what happens next, click on the link in the description to listen to the full audio series. You can also watch the next episode here in the playlist.